Hey, this is Todd and today is Saturday, August 27th, 2011 and we are in the Buckhorn Wash in Emory County, Utah and we are looking at some nectaring adults of the Baird Swallowtail, Papilio Lacaon Bairdi. This appears to be a female here nectaring on Cleome cerulata, Rocky Mountain bee plant. This butterfly has been purported to be kind of missing in action here for several years. These collectors have come down here have not uh, been able to find it or its caterpillars, but this year it has made a recovery, which is like way cool. This host, this plant, this Rocky Mountain bee plant that we see here is, we've got two of them here. <laughs> These are larval host plant of the Pontia beckeri and Pontia pertotisi. I would collect this, but I already have my series. And we have a black female that hopefully we'll get eggs from so that people can rear it on its host plant, Tarragon sage, Artemisia trichunculus. There it goes. We have Tony Jones, our expert photographer, here with us in the sea of Rocky Mountain bee plant and bird swallowtails. Here in the Buckhorn Wash, kind of cool. The one that we got was fresh. You better shoot it quickly. I'm a butterfly collector, and I'm going to be rude and just snag it before you get shots of it. Go ahead. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty, aren't they? They are. We got three yellow ones we've seen, but no black ones. We had that black one earlier. And I also have the impression the yellow to black ratio here is 50%. And this is the first time I've ever noticed Rocky Mountain bee plant down here, so maybe I've been blind or... There's been some floods in this area, and with all the excess moisture, you can feel the humidity here, which is a little odd for this arid region of Utah.